Hi, Paul from PowerWashStore.com. I uh, want to go a little walk through here on a new trailer we just built for Agent Clean. Um, I'm standing inside of it here. This is a 16 foot enclosed trailer. Um, a little bit closer, I'll back up, you'll see better. But uh, we got a uh, 8 gallon a minute, 3500 PSI slimline water dragon in here. Uh, we bent it up through the roof. Uh, over on the side here, we got our uh, two tanks that are available for both bleach and his Agent Blue solution. We have a transfer pump on here that will allow him to draw from either bleach or water that works off this uh, ball valve right here, coming either directly out of the tank or coming from the water tank, which we have over here, a 200 gallon water tank. Um, so he has the ability to both select between either water or bleach, running it through his transfer pump and then he can put it down into his bucket or uh, whatever he would want to do with that. And then on the second one here, we have our Agent Blue uh, that he wants to use that for. So we have a selector lever for that that goes back over to the water or detergent to the SH valve on the proportioner. And he has down here two seven gallon uh, soap tanks for his uh, secret agent or agent halls or uh, Agent Green, any, any of the products he wants to use for that. Uh, stepping back here, you can see we have a lot of room in the front of this, double side doors uh, on the trailer itself to uh, give him uh, good ventilation and easy access from both sides. We have an 11 and a 22 gallon fuel tank in here. Uh, the 22 gallon diesel tank uh, is for the burner and the 11 gallon fuel tank is for the gas for the engine. Uh, we ran that down through the floor to keep the space and the floor all open here. Makes it really nice and simple. Nice tandem axle trailer. Uh, one of the things that's really nice about this particular trailer, they use the metal uh, latches here. So they're really a nice solid latch. They don't break. Um, all stainless steel. Uh, very well built trailer, these uh, TechWorks trailers that we get uh, built for us here. But we have dual side doors. Uh, Height-wise, it's a really nice trailer, all LED lighting on it. Uh, you can see it's uh, really good quality lighting, really solid, uh, solid trailers to uh, work with. We have three 18-inch electric reels on the back here with 200 feet of high-pressure hose on the bottom. We have 250 feet of agricultural hose in the middle and 200 feet of uh, garden hose up on the top. We can see that we have a drain line that comes off to the back here that will allow you to drain the 200 gallon tank without having to climb up into the truck. Uh, we got it set up with quick connects here so he can add a downstreamer. Um, up on the top here we have our selector lever that will allow you to choose between feeding the tank or feeding the proportioner or the booster pump I'm sorry uh, by, by changing which, whichever way you'd want to go on that. So right now we are actually feeding the uh, booster pump. And if we point it up, it would actually feed the, just by turning it, we can feed the, the water, 200 gallon water tank. So that helps with the priming of the booster pump. Over on the side here, you can see we have our control wizard, remote control, which would allow you to, uh, by turning it on here, this, this isn't hooked up right now, but that gives them the ability to run a 12 volt circuit if you wanted to run lights or something like that. Uh, currently he doesn't have anything hooked up to this, but we can hook anything up at any time. And then coming off the other side here, this just by pushing this button here, if it was plugged in and, and had battery in it, you'd be able to turn it on here and then turn the pump on and off from here. If you, you could also turn it on and off with the remote controls. There's two of those, there's one there and then there's another one right down here. And then it also has an on off on the pump itself to turn it on and off right down here at the pump. So you don't have to use the remote if you don't want to or if you lose the key fobs, you still have the ability to work. On the top of the booster pump here, we have our recirculation kit, which uh, allows you to let off the trigger without deadheading the pump uh, for short periods of time. And the remote would come into play to be able to turn it on and off so you're not running for long periods of time to potentially uh, overheat and damage the pump. Up on the top here, you can see we have our feed that comes directly from the garden hose that allows us to force feed the booster pump and force the air out for priming. And on the other side here, um, we go up to the proportioner, which is mounted right on the wall here for easy access. And you can see that we have our proportioner here all ready to go. 
Coming into the proportioner there, we have our two uh, selector valves for the two different tanks. That feeds over to this valve, which actually draws from, and it's focusing in on my finger, uh, which actually draws from either the water tank on the bottom or the soap tanks on the top. You can see that that line right there runs all the way back over to this valve. So we have our chemical selector up on the top, water on the bottom. You notice we have some cam locks on here, and what we did that for is that gives him the ability in the winter to be able to just disconnect this, run that into a, with a drop tube or a hose, right into a bucket of antifreeze to run it through the proportioner and the booster pump to keep everything from freezing. Um, he's actually in a cold weather climate here where this is going, so that will, uh, will come in handy for him. And then you see we also have that here on the soap tanks um, that allows him to do the exact same thing there. And then you have a selector lever so he can use multiple soap tanks. We have a float on the 200 gallon tank to automatically shut it off to prevent it from overfilling. And you can see we have our two drop tubes here for the proportioner. And then we have our second drop tube over here for the uh, transfer pump. Inside the tanks you can actually see all the uh, drop tubes with the filters. We have our outlet to the pump and the drain and all the hoses and lines kind of go really nice over the tank here again you can see we have quite a bit of space inside this trailer here we've secured everything to the walls um, we have a nice vent going out and with the exhaust bypass coming out of the engine everything is vented out of this single vent going up through the roof um, coming back over here on the other side again double doors Really nice and open. We have his vent that comes out, blows it away from the trailer. Um, another feature of this particular trailer is he does have a roof vent on here, which would allow him to uh, bring in some fresh air and evacuate a lot of the heat during the really hot times of the summer. So this is the uh, most recent Agent Clean trailer from PowerWashStore.com, 855-351-9274. Hope to hear from you. Uh, have a great day.